What's up, YouTube? What's up, fam? It's Paul here, your True Blue Gamer, and I'm, I'm here again with Dave, and we're going to play some Super Mario Land for the Game Boy. Yeah. Woo! All right. I have never played this game. I've never really seen this game. Either. You're lying. Really? The only time I saw this game was in Game Theory, like, like, a year ago. I'm going to turn up just a little bit. It's too quiet. Okay. What? Ah, oh, I died. Damn it. So, what's the story behind this one? Uh, getting super comfortable right now. Uh, the story is you gotta save. I think it's Daisy in this one. But you, you're, you're, yeah, you're playing as Mario, and you're trying to save Daisy. Um, actually, that's all I can think of on top of my head. Alright, so saving Daisy instead of. Peach, okay. Yeah. Uh, from what I can remember, this game wasn't created by uh, Shigeru Miyamoto. It was created by someone else for the Game Boy at the time. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty cool. This is a pretty fun game. I played this a lot when I was a kid. Um, multiple times. Whenever I was like super bored. But uh, yeah. I actually, um, I think I had the cartridge, oh wait, yeah, no, <laughs> I mean, I had the cartridge, but as in super recently, I think I might have found it, like, when I was moving, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I think I lost it again. Oh no. Yeah, I know, it sucks, it's terrible. Wait, did that turn just blow up? Yeah, so in this, in this game, all the enemies are, like, different. Like, I picked up a fire flower, right? Fire flower's bounce. Yeah, it's actually the super bounce ball um, in this game. So it still kills enemies, but like it can be used. And it can, you can use it to pick up coins. Yay! That's nice. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Ah. It uh, you know, still has the same attributes as all the Mario games. You hold down B to run, A to jump. Uh, what else? I, th I guess that's it. This was a pretty cool game uh, back when I was a kid. Uh, yeah! I didn't really have a Game Boy, but I did get a Game Boy Color. Oh, yeah. It's cool because uh, I, I played around the Game Boy Color too. Uh, it was cool because uh, with the Game Boy Color, you could change the uh, color of all the yeah, like black and white games and stuff. It's like some color to me. Yeah. Ooh. Pro right there. Yeah. yeah! So close to 100 points. When you reach the end of a level, you uh, get two options. Like you can take the top, the high road, mm -hmm. and that'll. Yeah, or the low road. The high road pretty much uh, will take you to like a bonus stage. Okay. And you can either get an extra life or an item. And man, do you have to stop the ladder at the right time? Awesome. Pretty much. Okay. Got an extra life, anyways. Uh, so yeah, I did not get extra life there. That's okay. Whew, I was gonna die. Uh, in this game though, like if you get hit, you uh shrink back to. Short Mario, so even with fire flower form. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, what? Super, Super Mario Three. That was like maybe the only game that uh had like the different phases to where you would lose power up. So like if you had a fire flower in Mario Three, you would still be Super Mario, uh, and not go straight back to being Short Mario. Well, it was in uh, one two. Was it? Shit! Aw, oh, come on! Damn it! I didn't know yet I was up thinking about uh, My Brothers 3. What? Because even if you had, like, uh, Yoshi, that was, like, another oh, layer that? of protection. No, that was, a uh, Yoshi was in... World? Yeah. Right. I mean, sorry, sorry guys out there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, your your little head. Freaking dude. You're a good fan. Like I said in the previous video, I grew up with Sega, not Nintendo. I forgot. 
Yeah. I, uh... It's actually pretty crazy. I, um... No! Damn it. I, uh... I think, like, one of my aunts had a Sega. Like, she bought it at, like, a garage sale. When I was, like, what, 10? Um... So, yeah. Um, and, like, she had, like, Sonic 3. It was weird. Like, uh, I was like, oh, I want to play that one game. But, uh... I never, 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 never got to play it. Yep. Yeah. Hell yeah. Sonic 3 ended up being like my favorite Sonic of the Genesis, Genesis games. And I didn't even beat that game until a couple years ago. Yeah. I haven't even played 3 until high school. Yeah, man. When I got my own computer, I got all these games. Hell yeah. Enough about Sonic, we're playing Mario. Oh, yeah. Well, as right. close as Mario could be. But it's... It's Mario's competitor from another world. Yeah. <laughs> In a way. Let's not forget, though, that Nintendo owns Sonic now. Or some... Man! Or Sega still owns Sonic, but... They're... They're... They sell their games through Nintendo. So I, I don't know. Nintendo's like the main Nintendo's their skins. Yeah. Published. I think that's the one I'm Published. I'm Either super way, tired. I think the first Mario game I really got into was Mario 64. Yeah. I actually have never really beaten a Mario game. Like, what? okay, so I've beaten this one. I've beaten the Galaxy games. But if I went back and, and said, uh, like, like uh, the original Super Mario Brothers, or let's see, Super Mario 3. Um, I never beat those games when I was a kid, or actually to this day. Well, the only way I beat the original Mario was I used the shortcuts, and Come on, man. it took me forever to get to that last castle because of the puzzles they had. Yeah, look at that shot. The, the puzzle? Yeah. And you have to go up, middle, lower, in the oh. right order. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, see, I didn't even get to experience any of that. But, uh, I don't know. If I played that as a kid, I probably, probably would have been super upset. But it actually would have been. Now that I really think about it, the first Mario game I really played, Go! No! Get into was Super uh, oh. Mario Brothers Deluxe for the Game Boy Color. No, I got hit. Damn it. And that made me want to get a Game Boy printer. And oh. Camera. Oh my god. Because it had special features for the camera and printer. But I never got it. The printer did it! That was so easy. So good at this game. You don't even know. Just kidding. Alright. First I, boss down. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Not so, even Bowser. Yeah, it's all about... In this game, it's like not Bowser. It's a completely different like world. Uh, Universe, per se? Something like that. Like, it's... It's still the Mario universe, I think, but it's, uh, like, Bowser's not in the game, there are a whole bunch of weird enemies, and, uh... Well, apparently it wasn't Toad. Yeah, it's, no, they end up being, like, so uh, it's all enemies. Enemies that are looking like princess. Yeah. Yeah, two lives, so good. And then apparently you got abducted by aliens. Aliens! Bro. No joke. Oh yeah, this game is like super short. I didn't have- fuck! Damn it! Damn it! I had nothing going on, and I was bored, so I said, fuck it. Let's record Mario Land, because that game is pretty short. Pretty easy. I can't be that bad at this game. In fact, I didn't even practice. Because that's how confident I am. And watch me fuck up. Terribly. I don't want to fuck up too bad. Oof! I almost did right there. Um. Yeah, I can see where that little bounce ball could come in handy. Yeah. Shoot one up there and he's kind of bouncing. Yeah, it, it definitely helps. Like, see, I need to be giant if I want to get the rest of those, but I can't. If I do... Damn it. Nope. No! Yeah. Okay, fuck it. Yeah. We're good? Okay, cool. Yeah, still I just wanted to make sure. 
sleep. It's because I don't have it plugged in, so it keeps trying to go to sleep. Oh, really? Huh. Or save battery while I'm doing the screen. You know. There you go. So yeah, back to the Game Boy, since, you know, this was a Game Boy game. Uh... The, G the Game Boy printer, huh? Yeah. <sighs> I know it had weird projects. Like, I think if you had the Game Boy printer... Oh, I could be wrong, but if you had the Game Boy printer and you played, like, Pokemon, and you caught all the Pokemon, you could print out that little uh, certificate catching all 100 Pokemon. But, I mean... I mean it sounds possible. Well, I think that was... I don't know if that might have been, like, the main selling point, but... That's, that's the only way I, I could think of uh, good use of that. I, I mean, what else What else was it used for? I mean, you could print out stickers. Some games are like special stinker. Yeah, yeah. Stickers you could print out with it. And then, of course, it was used for the, with the Game Boy camera as well. Oh, yeah. Huh. Taking pictures, whatever. Apparently that was like the first portable camera, too. Neat. Yeah. yeah, I didn't I didn't get all that stuff. With my Game Boy. Oh no, is that yeah. when I still had went back east to visit, visit some family out there. They had a whole bunch of games and I'm like, go ahead, take some more. Damn son, that's awesome. And I remember one of the games I took home. Was Earthbound. Oh. Or not Earthbound, excuse yeah. me. Earthworm Gym. That game was awesome. It was awesome. back then when I was playing. Nice. I I think I played that game for Here you go. All the coins. That game and also Spy Hunter. Spy Hunter. Yes. For... You're a car and you're driving down a highway and you can shoot other cars and put down little slits. I remember. I remember Spy Hunter, wait, but... It was for the color, I think. Oh, okay. Because it, it was not a cartridge, like a... Some type of cartridge was like five games in one. Yeah. It had Spy Hunter, Moonlight, some other games. But yeah, Spy Hunter was my favorite one. Did you ever play the... 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 I think it was for GameCube. I know that there was a... Um, console game with Spy Hunter. Shit! I might have played it when I downloaded the emulators, but mm, I don't know. Oh, right. I just like the original. Nice. I remember I even played the original when I was a kid. Well, at a birthday party, and so I like, loaded it up with quarters. Shit! And no, just okay. started playing it. Nice. And then all of a sudden they're like, go, oh, it's time to go, uh, wish the cousin happy birthday, we gotta go. Fuck, I died. No, I just loaded the machine up. They're like, look, too bad. Came back and there was all the other kids on it. Damn. Yeah. And I was like, but... like, yeah, it's giving free plus. I'm like, yeah, but what is it? Oh, like, shit. Damn. And nobody did anything about it. I was kind of pissed. Yeah, but you were like, what? Like, ten? Yeah. About ten years old. Fuck. Uh, I won't lie. I'd probably be pretty mad too. I was like, My, my hard-earned quarters exactly. in a game that I wanted to play. Oh god. Yes. Either way, good times, good times. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. And also another game I had was uh, Wario. Wario Land 2. Uh... Oh. For the Game Boy. Was it Color or Advanced? I believe... The Warrior Land 2 was for Game Boy, mm -hmm. but I was playing it on my color. And then Warrior Land 3 came out, that was for color. No! Damn it! Warrior Land 4 was for Advance. Warrior Land 4. It's interesting too because uh, this game sequel has Wario in it. Like, uh. Right? As the main character? Or... No, he's not the main character. He's, uh. He is the main bad guy. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. Super Mario Land 2 Secret of the... Or the Six Golden Coins, or whatever it was called. Yeah. Um... Fuck. That game was actually kind of hard in the end. Like, trying to get to Wario. 
I don't know why, but I, I haven't beat it and I had the hardest time. But it's pretty cool. Even Wario was Wario Land 2 was hard. Yeah. It's like I went through the whole game not realizing that there was secret exits in some worlds and different ways to complete some of the levels which would go down to the side. <laughs> I didn't even find that out until I came to go to the game eventually. A year later after I get it. Yeah. And then it's like the secret map screen came up. And it showed all the different paths that you have to go. It's pretty uh it's crazy because I have played a Wario Land game. Uh it was I don't know what number. It was the one where you got like you had to collect all these items and then it unlocked like some giant clown in the end. Oh, that was Wario Land 3. Had to get the uh, music boxes. Yeah, that game was hard as fuck. It was. And then the boss was all hard. I was like, this is bullshit. Giant squid man. Mm -hmm. This is a brother's always asking for shit. help on games. It's like, I don't know how to beat it. But yeah, I remember when I was younger, he'd always get to these crazy parts of the game. So I'm like, how did you get that from? Yeah. Isn't that weird? Like, people that need help trying to beat something, and then they're like, oh, well, what about this? And you're like, how the fuck? Right. I don't know, you can do that shit. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, we're here for you, Daisy. Thank you, Mario. Oh, Daisy. Oh, Daisy. Oh, shit, that's an octopus. It's a giant squid. Oh, God. It's pretty crazy. This this game had a, some interesting... Uh, Levels, stages. Alright, two more lines. 